Varanasi on the banks of the Ganges River is perhaps the most famous and holiest cities in all of the Hindu religion. Dating back to about 1200 BC, the city itself has been sacked over the years, but the old city remains intact, at least in shape. The famous part of Varanasi are the various ghats or steps that lead into the river. Here you'll see various religious ceremonies being performed and people going into the river to clean themselves. Two of these ghats are known as burning ghats or places where Hindus come to die and their bodies are burned on flaming pyres. It is thought that burning the bodies actually purifies the soul and doing it here on the banks of the Ganges is the most holiest places to do it. And yes, this is a very normal sight to see in Varanasi. There's no better way to describe Varanasi than as an experience. For people coming from western styles of living, this is going to be probably one of the most unfamiliar cities in all of India for them. It's a total affront on all your senses, but really in a good way. Keep your eyes and your mind open and it'll be an unforgettable experience. Varanasi's old town dates back thousands of years, even if the buildings haven't. And it's a spider web of narrow alleyways that you can really get lost in. Just watch out for the cows and their byproduct. As a former drummer, I made it my goal not to leave India without getting a chance to play tabla with a sitar player, which I was able to do at the Shiva Musical House. And to answer your question, no, I will not be quitting my day job anytime soon. The other must-do experience in the city is to take a sunrise boat ride down the Ganges. Yes, you have to get up early, but the experience is one you'll never, ever forget.